Hello Synapse CICD fans, my name is Rui Cunha and I'm a support escalation engineer on the Azure Synapse Analytics team. Welcome to this video series on Synapse CICD. In today's video, we will be talking about custom parameterization of ARM templates in your Synapse workspace and how this parameterization can impact your CICD workflow for these artifacts. One of the advantages of having your Synapse workspace integrated with Git is to generate these ARM templates containing all your workspace artifact properties. These templates will be required in scenarios where you need to deploy these artifacts to a different environment or in disaster recovery scenarios where you need to recover all your workspace artifacts. By default, these ARM templates are generated based on the workspace default or built-in parameter template. However, when this default template is not generating all the artifact properties that you need, you are required to use your own or custom parameter template. And this next demo will show you how you can achieve this. Here's my workspace, my dev environment and I want to deploy my workspace artifacts to my UAT environment. When you publish your changes from your collaboration branch in your dev environment, the publishing operation will persist your pending changes to live mode, and then it will start generating the ARM templates. These ARM templates will be generated based on the built-in and default workspace template. This template will expose only the necessary properties or parameters for you to deploy your artifacts to a target environment. For example, if you go here to the workspace publish where these ARM templates are saved and you hit the template parameters for workspace, you will see here all the properties being exposed by the default template and these properties of course they will depend on the number of artifacts that you have in your workspace i have only a linked service here a custom linked service so the url property is being exposed for any linked service the connection string is also a property that is being exposed to this default linked service we know that at least these properties are being exposed and you by the default um, parameters template. You have other artifacts, other properties that you would like to, to expose. For example, if you go to your notebooks, you will see here this reference name. This notebook is using my Spark pool. In my dev environment, I have a single Spark pool but in my UAD environment, I have a couple of Spark pools. And in this workspace, I would like to my notebooks to run using this UAD Spark pool. Here is a scenario where you need to override your notebook here. So you need to expose this reference name property so you can override this Spark pool name. But this reference name property is not being exposed by default, by your uh, default uh, template. How you can expose these properties that are not being exposed by the default template? So you need to use the custom parameters template. So I'm here referencing the Microsoft official docs. And for you to create this template definition file, you need to pick this name and this must be the exact naming that you will provide to your file. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to rename these files and call it default. Same for the parameters. And what you need to do is to go to your collaboration branch and in the root, root folder, you need to create this file, 
with this exact name template parameters definition dot JSON and you can copy this sample file from the Microsoft documentation and paste it here if you look at this file the template is exposing several properties under each artifact category notebooks SQL script pipelines integration runtimes and so on and this definition file we have a specific syntax that you can check here the custom parameter syntax every parameter will have the parameter name the property name and then at, uh, you can rename the file for example let me see here in this connection string I'm renaming this parameter and I will provide the data type so this is this syntax here the action that can be equal sign to keep the current value hyphen don't keep the value for the parameter and this pipe that is a special case for connection strings Azure key vault and so on so this is how you provide here the syntax for example in this value in this case for example I'm just renaming the frequency property and call it frec short name but I will keep the default data type and the default value you can add as much properties as you need for example in the notebooks I'm just having here the reference name but I could have any other property that I would need to expose how can you get these properties for example if you go to one of these notebooks here as you can see node count course memory are example here it is the one the property that we are exposing reference name so you need to check the path to your property for example in the notebooks the reference name is under the properties big data pool reference name this is your path properties big data pool reference name so if you go now to the workspace publish and not to the workspace publish to the template parameters definition here it is notebooks properties big data pool reference name now let me go to my dev workspace and let me just do this I'm doing just this commit for the sake of time here directly in the main branch I would need to as a best practice feature branch pull request and all that stuff but I just for the sake of this demonstration I just want to save some time and to generate the new arm templates now this will persist my change and generate the two arm templates this is just to compare the old arm templates that were generated using the default workspace template versus the arm templates generated with the template definition file now back to the workspace publish here it is look at the default template parameters we just three parameters here to be exposed and I'll look at the contents of this new file where I'm exposing connection string but now I'm exposing also the compute properties for my integration runtime so now I'm exposing all these properties for the integration runtime and I can override any of these properties including database name for SQL scripts if I want to override the SQL pool name that my script is using and it, it is our spark pool reference that I have just exposed so this is the logic around the custom parameter template how can we use now this these parameters here now in our release pipeline we are going to 
let me just close this we are going to use this override parameters section here in the task and what we need to do is to have the parameters that are available here and expose these parameters what I want to override is my spark pool name copy this put it here and this will be my spark pool UAT here and another example and we don't have I was just thinking we don't have the URL for our storage account that I wanted to get the URL for my storage account so I was looking for that so let's go here to the main branch template parameters so link it services edit just to show you an example how you can add a new property to the template parameters definition file let me go to my link it service here because I'm not getting the URL and this should be this one first thing the path the URL belongs to the type properties which in turn belongs to the properties so the path is properties type properties URL now let's go to our parameter definition the path properties type properties but no sign of the URL so I'm going to put it here give it URL and now what I'm going to do equal sign keep the same value then this will tell me. okay let me call it just for this demonstration how to rename this my URL and then I will keep the data type as is if I want to change the data type I would do something like this for example commit commit and now what I need to do again just to generate the two arm templates let's do a commit and a publish again this is just to save time doing a commit directly in the collaboration branch is no good fast and after generating this ARM templates, once this is finished, we are going to the workspace publish. And let me just expand this. Let's go to the template parameters. It it is. See? And let's compare with the default. Look at this linked linked service for ADLS2. So we have renamed it instead of using properties, type properties. So, so this is the path for the property. Instead of having such a big name for this parameter, I have just renamed to my URL. Now what I can do here is to grab this property and provide the URL for my storage account okay and then I'm ready now I'm going to create this release and I will deploy let me see here something wrong with my arm templates let me check what's going on Okay, let me just delete this because this was a previous setup that I had. Now it's different. Let me grab the workspace publish, add. Let me just reconfigure this to point to the right location. Template for workspace, this one, not the default. I don't want the default. I want to custom templates here save and let's create the release
Now I'm expecting my notebook to be attached to the UAT Spark pool here. So there is no notebook and no linked service. So I'm expecting my linked service now to use the UAT storage, not this storage. This is using a different storage, but I want to attach this linked service to my UAT storage. Let's go back to the deployment task and wait for the task to complete. Let's go to the UAT environment, refresh, and linked service. Here it is our ADLS to linked service using the UAT staging. So this was a, an example on how you can use this template parameters definition to customize your ARM template parameters so you can override using your DevOps deployment task to deploy your Synapse artifacts to a target environment using different properties, setting different values. This is how you can use this custom parameter templates. Let us know your thoughts and share your ideas, tips and tricks in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.